gangrene is actually a death of tissue or a decaying tissue and it's a direct result of uh, reduced blood flow or lack of circulation usually affecting the extremities uh, meaning the tips of the hands, fingers or also the toes and the foot. There are two types of gangrene. Uh, one is uh, a wet gangrene and the second type is dry gangrene. Wet gangrene is commonly found in uh, injuries, trauma, accidents, for example, when uh, uh, a patient sustained cuts or bruises or even open fractures. Wet uh, dry gangrene uh, is the one that commonly found in diabetic, uh, diabetic foot infection. In diabetics, um, what happens is that they have high blood sugar in their circulation. When there is high blood sugar, uh, this causes damage uh, to the blood vessel, to the peripheral circulation, as well as the peripheral nerves. So, as a result of this, the blood supply to the extremities is reduced. Uh, hence, um, when there is an injury, even a minor injury, the tissue will have problems recovering from the injury uh, because of lack of blood supply. The other issue is of the peripheral nervous system. In, when there is high blood sugar level, uh, this damages the peripheral nerves that supplies the legs and foot uh, usually. And as a result, uh, the patient will have reduced feeling or reduced sensation in the toes. And this makes them prone to injury, uh, even just by the action of bumping the toes uh, into a wall, for example. They will get injuries, cuts, without them even realizing it. So these two factors uh, predispose um, diabetics to gangrene. Patients who are at risk of developing gangrenes, um, number one is diabetics who, who are poorly controlled mm, and patients with cardiovascular disease mm, with poor uh, peripheral uh, blood circulation, chronic smokers, uh, as well as patients who are immunocompromised. Uh, when I say immunocompromised, meaning that the human immune systems are weak and, and they are not um, able to fight the infection um, that has come upon them. Um, these are, for example, uh, chronic uh, alcoholics, uh, patients who are on chemotherapy or radiotherapy, um, patients who has HIV, drug users, and uh, patients with chronic renal failure. The most important factor is to control the blood sugar level. And as you know, in diabetes, uh, the individual will have problems trying to control blood sugar. So he or she has to go on a diabetic diet mm -hmm. and he has to start treatment with oral medication or insulin if required. Diabetic diet um, consists of uh, no sugar and uh, complex carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. So diabetic should refrain from taking any simple sugar or simple carbohydrate and uh, should have their blood sugar level monitored regularly. So diabetics uh, should avoid simple sugar and simple carbohydrate. Um, uh, it's simple things like, uh, you know, like sweetened drinks, you know, carbonated drinks. Uh, and when you drink coffee or you drink tea, you must not take sugar or reduce the intake of sugar and uh, should minimize taking rice uh, in a day, for example, maybe one plate a day will be enough. And uh, should try to take more uh, cereal or muesli, high fiber diet or fruits that is not too sweet. Um, so those are the things or the di diet that you know, can be uh, practiced by diabetics so, so as to control the blood sugar level. And apart from diet, uh, proper food hygiene or food care is also important uh, in diabetics. Uh, the shoe must be loose, must be well fitted, uh, not, not really tight or unbalanced uh, so as not to uh, compromise the blood circulation to the foot. Eh? If the, foot, the shoe is poorly fitted, 
the patient tends to develop pressure sores in the in the shoe, and this will slowly uh, become ulcer if it's not treated. Um, the patient should go for a regular checkup with podiatrists. Uh, podiatrists are specialists in uh, foot care uh, to prevent uh, the complications of developing foot ulcers. Once uh, you suspect that uh, you have developed diabetic foot gangrene, um, um, the first and foremost is for you to see a doctor and get your foot assessed. It's very important for a medical uh, personnel to check your foot, to assess the extent of the infection, how bad it is, and whether it's localized or whether it has spread uh, higher up or spread throughout your whole body. And, uh, and the doctor will decide whether you need uh, inpatient treatment or not. Um, Usually for mild infection, uh, outpatient antibiotics uh, and wound dressing is sufficient. But if the gangrene is severe and it, outpatient treatment is insufficient, then uh, you will require admission for intravenous antibiotics as well as debridement of the wound. And uh, mm, debridement may be repeated a few times until the doctor feels that the infection is well contained. My advice to all patients out there with diabetes, if you have even the slightest signs of uh, pain or wound or cuts or ulcers in the foot, don't just leave it alone, don't just brush it under the carpet, have it checked. Uh, make sure it's properly assessed by a doctor. Um, this uh, condition is usually uh, comes under the uh, care of orthopedic surgeon because it usually affects um, the legs, the ankles and the foot. See your doctor, uh, get a proper assessment um, so that you can be adequately treated before it develops into more serious complications.